welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about how to get your CCNA certification fast. What exactly is CCNA? CCNA stands for Cisco Certified Network Associate. It is the foundation of Cisco networking, not discounting the CSENT. But from my knowledge, many people go direct for the CCNA and they bypass the CSENT. Currently, there are 10 CCNA certification tracks that you can take. But today, we will concentrate on the CCNA routing and switching certification track. If you have already done your CCNA certification, leave a comment below on the materials and the study strategy that you used so that we can better help each other in the networking community. Now, who should do CCNA? This can range from network administrators, network support engineers, network analysts, network specialists, and network engineer associates. There are two ways of getting your CCNA certification exam. The first one is you can take a single CCNA composite exam or you can take two exams, which is the ICND1 and the ICND2. But from my knowledge and experience, many people will take the CCNA composite exam because it is a single exam and they will want to do the CCNA certification in one go. If you take the two exams, which is the ICND1 and ICND2, that means you will have to take two separate exams, two separate sittings, and most people do not go for that. Most people, they will just take the single CCNA composite exam. I will leave a link in the video descriptions below of what you need to know in order for you to pass the CCNA exam. This is the CCNA blueprint direct from the Cisco website that can better help you understand of the core concepts that you need to know in order for you to pass the CCNA exam. Other people use GNS3 or Bosonet SIM, but from my knowledge and experience, uh, that's a bit of a chore to set up. You will have to install the application, for example, GNS3, and you will have to download the separate Cisco iOS images and then load them onto the GNS3. And that can be a bit of a chore, but for the beginners, if you are just beginning, I would recommend you download the Cisco Packet Tracer. That is the easiest way for you to learn CCNA commands on routing and switching, because it is easy to set up. Once you download the application and you install it, you are done. Everything that you need to do your labs, Everything that you need to do your practicing is inside the packet tracer. Once you install the CCNA packet tracer application on your laptop or on your computer, then you can straight away go ahead and start dragging and dropping devices onto the working window and you can start practicing your CCNA commands. One of the best CCNA trainers out there must be Jeremy Chara from CBT Nuggets. He makes CCNA learning videos which are very funny and they are very interesting to watch. So I would recommend you get a subscription on CBT Nuggets and you can view Jeremy Chara's videos on CCNA. Now one thing to note is that there are a lot of CCNA study materials out there. So don't get stuck into the loop that once you view some videos of CCNA from one particular trainer and then you shift to another trainer and you view the CCNA materials, you might get stuck into the loop of starting over. Once you're halfway, you go to the next set of videos and you start over. There are a lot of materials for CCNA out there on the internet. So once you find your recommended materials, once you find the sweet spot of materials, study those until you finish. If you try to add more and more materials onto your existing study material, you might get stuck into the loop where you will start, go to the middle, and come back and start again. Now, just to give you a rundown, uh, Jeremy Charles' videos uh, from CBT Nuggets, they are about 40 hours long. If you break that down, 40 hours, if you do two hours per day, that will take you at least 20 days. 20 days to just go through the videos. 
you are not doing any note taking you are just going through the videos just to get an understanding of what you are supposed to know you're just going through the videos just to get an idea of what you need to know and how deep you need to go in the CCNA once you have finished going through the 20 days worth of videos then now you can allocate three to four hours per day of going through the videos once again and actually doing the labs this will take you give or take 40 to 60 days because now you are actually going in depth doing the labs practicing the commands on the actual cisco devices whether you are using packet tracer or you are using genus 3 whichever one you have decided to set up now you are actually going deep dive doing the commands now take note this time is variable if you have already been working on cisco gear or any networking gear and you might take less than three months to do your ccna because the learning curve will be very small if you are new to networking which means your learning curve will be a bit higher you might take some extra time reading maybe three to four months but generally if you follow this guideline you will take just just three months and you will have the core concepts that you will need to take and pass the CCNA composite exam. You can also look at the study free CCNA website which I will leave a link in the video description that has got some awesome information, some awesome learning tips and some awesome content on studying CCNA. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Like, subscribe, leave a comment and give us some feedback on what you want to see next time.